Yo, what's happening people? My name is Rudra Kush and welcome back to a new video. So this is going to be a start to finish melodic techno course. Throughout this session, we will explore the entire creative process from a blank Ableton project to a radio ready song. My goal is to show you my entire creative process, which includes coming up with ideas, writing melodies, selecting right samples, etc. I designed this course to showcase you the real struggle and the challenges that a producer faces while creating the track and proven techniques to overcome those challenges. Please note this video is not a pre-planned video or I have not made this track before. We're gonna make this track in real time in a blank Ableton project. I believe this is gonna be a long video so I may end up splitting this whole video into separate parts. So yeah, that being said, let's jump into the video. So this is my template and I usually start most of my tracks with this template. Uh, it's nothing crazy, It's uh, this one is just a MIDI track where I have um, labeled all these MIDI clips just to reference my track like the structure. Um, so we have intro, a groove section, a groove and melody um, that we are leading into the break, then groove, then groove melody, a small break, um, then again groove and then outro. So this is the structure that we will be following for this track. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make, but uh, sh uh, surely we'll be making dance music. Um, so let's start by taking a kick sample. Okay, so I'm thinking to take this and let's put it on one shot mode. Um, the transient is actually too big. I don't, I'm not sure if I want that big of the transient. I think we can take care of this later on. I'm gonna start with this. Um, let's try to um, build the main section, which is right here. So when it comes to making a track, I usually start off with the most um, uh, the most busy section of the track or, or the climax of the track. So here um, will be the uh, most busy section so i'm gonna start with this one i'm gonna loop this I usually keep my kicks around 9-10 decibels. So this looks good for now. Um, moving on to the bass line. And I'm also gonna loop this section. So I will be writing in G minor, I 
think our kick is in G minor, yeah. So it's in G, so I will be writing the track in G minor. So first I'm thinking to start with um, like a drone or pad or something. So I'm gonna take Serum and let's try to come up with something. Gonna look for a pad. I think we can use this one for now. I don't want to waste um, too much time. So let's just put this G minor chord in the track. I think that's okay. Uh, let's make it big and loop this. Oops. Make it eight bars and select all of them. Quantize and then legato. This one sounds okay. Let's choose um, a different pad. Not liking this one. I think this one is okay for the vibe. Um, but I don't like how it, it has so many high frequencies. I think yeah, it's, it's better. Okay. Um, okay, so I think we can try to be organized. Okay, so I think we should name this um, drone. Let's turn on our kick and I'm gonna write a very simple bass line for now. Um, let's um, take Serum again I'm gonna search for a bass sound
think I'm gonna keep it simple for now. Um, we might change it later on. Uh, I messed up at the end, but that's okay. Make it a bar long and I'm gonna consolidate and fix the timings a bit. Um, I like to quantize the end also, so. Okay, it's good for now. Um, I wanna loop it and then spread it all over. Okay, so before going any further, I would like to sidechain um, the bass to the kick. So I like to use um, Shaper Box 3 and uh, click on this sidechain. And there's a really cool feature in this plugin that you can um, um, see the waveform of the kick. So um, sidechain from kick. So now you can see the waveform here and you can exactly dial in the settings. Okay, um, so now I want to create an ARP. Um, I'm gonna take Serum again and let's search for an RPGO. Like it, maybe. Somehow it's still very plucky.
think um, I'm gonna use this sound. I I cannot really um, play in real time, so I will um, draw the pattern in. Let's try to loop it now. Okay, so um, it's still very loud. Um, Oh, let's remove all this processing. I'm just gonna keep um, the L2. Okay, I like this patch, but uh, I want some delay on this. There is some delay, but I can barely hear it. Hear it. So... I'm slightly gonna tweak this delay. Yep, I think this one is better. Um, I want to filter. I, I just want the, um, not the super high frequencies in the delay. I'm just thinking um, which uh, direction to go. I'm like, there are so many directions we can go from here. Uh, we can make something like um, a big synth here, and then we can make the part two of the drop, like the like a B section. Um, so I think um, I'm gonna do that. So from this section, I think um, we will have the groove plus melody. I'm probably gonna add one more um, pluck sound. Groove pluck. Let's turn it down a bit. And for the groove plug, um, I'm going to use um, Serum.
I like this, um, but it's uh, too sharp. So let's fix that. I'm gonna change the wave table. I don't like this one. What happened? Okay. Let's try something else. I want to create a syncopated rhythm um, to the bass so this plug will be um, in context with the bass um, I don't although I don't really like the delay on it I just want to turn off the delay not the reverb okay
um, for now, I want to focus on this part first. Um, so we want like a cool synth sound here. I'm gonna drag this drone as well. I'm probably gonna change the baseline a bit. Let's try to search like for some MIDI. Let's see if we can find something interesting. Um, uh, it's the same. <laughs> I want something simple, but still um, good enough to dance. to drag this velocity on the cutoff. Because I see we do have some volume automation here. It's too much actually. Okay.
I like yeah. the delay here. Okay, I'm um, not, not gonna spend much time here, so let's try um, working with this. Um, let's choose a different sound. I know there is um, one sound that I really like. Uh, I think this one. Not this one. So I really like this um, sound. This is very fat. So it's just really um, a saw wave um, and there's an LFO on it, which is giving that wobbly vibe and a bunch of release. So I mean, the sound is super simple. Um, so, I want to um, automate few things. So first of all, I want to automate the rate of this LFO.
think this can work. So I'm going to try something. Um, I'll take an LFO and just want it 10%, not much, uh, and a slower rate. And just link this LFO to this. Uh, I don't want it going below 50%, so I'm gonna change this plus minus to just plus. So the automation just goes um, on the positive side. to try to also want to automate this filter and I want to add some noise Also want some delay. Mm. Uh, oh, I think I forgot to just. Uh, that's okay. We want the LFO. filter I really want to give uh, emphasize to the endings of the of the note So automate the delay at the end.
duplicate this. And I'm gonna change um, some notes here on the second part, like a B part of this melody. I think I'm going to start here actually. Mm, or maybe not. I really like this note, how it goes from G to um, B flat. Um, so I'm thinking to... This sounds um, good. quickly fix that um, automation also uh, I want it to open on this note Let's keep it simple for now. Thinking something like this. I think it will sound um, cool in the um, B part of this melody. Mm, so let's make something. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm going to delete this LFO tool as we are not using it. And first of all, I'm going to EQ this. I'm going to remove some of the low end. Um, below 120 hertz um, 
as just we don't want really want that um for now um let's delete these two and i would like to add the side chain from our base to on this lead but of course i want to um reduce the effect i don't want the effect to be that strong so i'm gonna lower it around 60. Uh, let's see how it sounds with our um, ARP. I need something better than this. I want this plug to be really snappy because we don't want um, the um, energy from the lead you know to be compromised with the plug um, because that is the main focus of this section right here so this will just stay in the background uh, it will just give the overall track uh, a sense of groove I still need to choose um, because there are two bass lines playing playing here so I think this one 
goes um the one that we wrote i think that is um sounding good with this one yeah yep yep so i'm going to quickly um save the track um I think we can remove the drone now. Um, probably I'm gonna make um, like a B section, like the B section here now. So for this section, I think we can simply duplicate it and um use that probably so we need something either we can keep this plug or we can um create something new to fill up um this space right here um i want to try something first if you don't like it, then we can go with this groove plug. Um, let's try a, like a stab sound. See if that fits here. Let's pull up serum again. And I really like this pluck, this stab, I mean. I think that rhythm is um, cool. Let's try if we can fit it here. I'm thinking to put um, 32 second notes here, like this. Um, probably here. Um, 
first of all, it's uh, very loud. I want to make um, this stab sound a little bit more powerful, I guess. Like right now it's so thin. And I want to change this bright white noise. It's, uh, it's way too bright. Still not happy with the pattern for this stab um, so I'm just turning it off for now I want to um, put some drums for the reference like um, to basically get the idea for the groove so first I'm gonna start with uh, a snare sound I'm looking for something um, like soft but yet punchy, like not too bright sounding. Um, so I think this is this is good. Let's try this and see if it works. I usually um, do move the MIDI notes um, just a tiny bit like you know away from the grid because I don't want like two very sharp transients landing on the same exact time. So it just helps you know to um, turn up the final master you know a bit more. Now let's adjust the volume. Okay, so let's move on to the hi-hat. Okay, so let's bring in this hat.
just um, side chaining the hi hats to the kick to make it you know more groovier. I'm feeling uh, the reverb needs to be more, so I'm increasing this drive it. Okay, let's add some more percussions. Actually, I'm gonna um, use a drum rack so that we can put multiple percussions into one track. Maybe this. Okay, maybe this. Um, I might include a tomb as well. Okay, so I think we have um, some precautions to play with. So I'm gonna create a MIDI clip and loop it over and just try to fill in the puzzle here, like um, what sounds nice and what doesn't. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna lower down the volume so that we can hear better with the track yeah.
I'm gonna duplicate this whole track and uh, from this one I want to mute these and I want to apply some effects on this um, first I want to get an echo I think dotted sounds way better. And I do wanna side chain it to the kick. Not too much, but just a little bit. Okay. Um, Let's see what else we can add. Um, probably a shaker. So this is our shaker and let's turn down the volume. I think uh, we have some precautions for now. I do want to compress all of these a little bit. Uh, so I'm thinking to put a glue compressor on the group here. Uh, let's hear it with the track now. And I do want to do the same thing uh, with the low end.
Okay, uh, let's hear it now with the track. Okay, I'm not gonna worry too much about the mixing yet on this stage. Uh, I just um, like to do a little bit of it, but uh, we will do it in a completely different uh, session. Uh, although on this percussion, um, Yeah, this one. There's this weird tail. Okay, I think this is better. Uh, for the lead, I do want to apply some distortion on this one. So this is a really cool plugin. Um, it has a bunch of effects like distortion, filters, you know, um, a bunch of stuff, reverb, delays. So let's uh, see. <laughs> Okay, um, let's choose this crunchy dynamic for now. Um Uh, definitely it's uh, loud now okay I think it's good for now uh, let's move on um, So I do want to add something in this B section here. Uh, 
let's get serum let's get this nexus this has some um techno packs um i'm pretty sure come on you can do it you can do it come on yeah um for some reason it just takes forever Uh, Hive also has some good sounds. Let's try Hive. check nexus first uh, maybe we can find some um, sequence sounds but from where uh, okay so I think we just need to mm, can't we just turn this off from somewhere Okay. I'm pretty sure there is a different way, <laughs> but let's just focus on our the sound uh, let's try um, I might mute that piano as well let's try now to freeze this so that we can 
we don't hear this ringing tail all the time and flatten it. Uh, so this is the sound. So I want to first of all um, side chain this to the kick. And it's way too loud already. And I do want to duplicate it and reverse it. And we can use it as a riser also. So I will see where we can use this. I'm just keeping it for now. I think uh, we need to stay organized here. So this is a uh, bam sound. And let's make it the same color. I still need something here to like continue the melody. Let's try something from Hive. with like a sustained lead also. the delay sounding but I don't really like the sound um, let's try again something from Nexus and see if we can find some cool sounds don't crash
Don't crash. Okay, I think we are safe now. Mm. For some reason, it takes forever to load. Mm. Okay, here we go. Let's try this one. There should be a way to um, mute this instead. Okay, uh, let's try this. First, um, freeze this track and flatten it so we can have a much better look. I think this sounds better than what we have here. Or um, we can um, let's ch try to um, match the pattern for for this um, this tab. So let's uh, delete this. And this is starting here. I'm just like lining it up with the pattern. like this sound a lot uh, this okay um, so for this uh, we can simply um, copy it paste to the B part
Um, I think I want to layer this tab sound. So uh, in this section, I am actually hearing uh, a percussion sound, like probably a snare um, in this section. So let's try to add that. Mm. I want something bright. Okay, let's draw in the MIDI pattern now. Let's see. Some somewhere here. Uh, I want to duplicate I like the sound and on the last note probably I'm gonna add a reverb let's choose a different reverb I don't like the tail mm. No, maybe a plate reverb. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna cut the low end to clean up the reverb. Mm. Yeah. Yep, I think it should be okay for now. Let's mute this for now.
let's see what we have uh, i think it's the same pattern let's quantize this first let's quantize the ends also Yeah, let's try to copy this here and I think we can use the snare as a layer so let's run it on and copy the same pattern here maybe add more reverb let's run it down first uh, and I'm going to pan it a little bit. And that's too much. Um, I think it sounds okay in the center. Um, I think I want to layer this stab sound. I think uh, we should um, move on now. So let's just copy this. And 
and I want to get some structure to our song so I don't want to um, put the hats here maybe in this part I just want I uh, maybe just a synth and the kick and bass. Here we can um, mute the kick. And of course we need to um, copy these guys also. We can use the same sound but like a different pattern. What happened to the automation? This part, uh, maybe we can, um, let's try with Um, 
so this will be our um, background plug I do want to put an OTT on this. And also side chain to the kick. these notes and turn on this MIDI clip. Okay, so first thing I'm hearing um, an additional note here, like somewhere here. Let's try. This is what I was hearing in my head. Um, and also, this stab, um, I do wanna duplicate this part. So this part, I mean, we don't need this first of all. Um, this section, we can move it um, at the back, but I want to copy this section. And let's move this at the back. Let's see how it sounds.
Um, I think I want to double it here. And I want to add an audio track and copy this here. So, and I want to copy all these to this track. Um, so I want to have like a uh, different distortion on this one. Yeah, I think this one is okay, but I do want to get rid of that initial transient. Yep, I think it sounds okay. Let's try to copy it. And let's copy this as well. Let's see how it sounds. And I'm thinking to copy this here and do something like this. <clears throat> Let's see how it sounds. Okay, uh, it sounds better now. I do want to add some white noise, like a downlifter kind of stuff. So I think I have something that I made earlier. Yeah, it's white noise. Um, so I, as you can see, I just saved the whole um, stem, but we don't want the whole thing. Um, Okay, so yeah, so this one, we can copy this and this is down lifter and this is white noise. Okay, and I think we can just use this part as this have the side chain on this, let's get rid of this. And let's put it here. So we don't want this one because this is the, um, um, this uh, down lifter. So on this track, I'm just muting this auto pan. So the rate is actually going up. So we don't want this, we just want the side chain. So let's um, turn on the automation. Okay, I think it sounds okay and it's too loud actually.
Um, let's quickly try to make like a build up. I want an impact. Yeah, I think this one sounds okay. Um, so let's move it here. Okay, sounds okay. Put it here as well. And I want to cut the lows from it. Let's copy this effect here. Let's get a uplifter and let's um, let's put it here as well as here. I think I wanna. It's uh, way too loud, so let's turn it down. do want to um, fade out the volume like the volume should go down um, so what we can do is something like this mm, maybe not Okay, so, um, this one is way loud, so we can copy this um, I do want to automate the cutoff for this Yeah, so we can use something like an LFO and uh, let's change it to a triangle wave and let's assign it to the macro. 
So right now it's moving um, fast, but I want it slow, like two bars. Let's see how this sounds. Yes, it sounds good. And I do want to add a little bit of noise. Yeah, and reverb. Yeah, it sounds better. All right, so I think this is it for this part of video. Uh, I want to break down this video into different parts. So in this part, we um, made the main section of the song which is uh, the main drop so i think we have all the elements that we need for this song um, in the next video i will probably try to make a break so that's what my next steps are um, but for this part i did some quick mixing i um, you know checked the levels and eq nothing special but uh, just basic stuff and i did put a uh, few things on my master so um, i mean like this is just a temporary you know so called master um, just to get an idea how the overall song is coming out so let me just go through this chain real quick so first of all we have this ozone stabilizer um, this is just on EDM preset and 30% into the amount. And then we have the compressor from Universal Audio, Fairchild. So this is just some parallel compression on the master. Um, I did compression already, you know, on the individual tracks, but this is just to glue the track. And then we have this, um, one of my favorite plugins. Um, this is a distortion and a saturation unit. So I just tweaked a little bit of the settings and um, saturated the overall mix a little bit and then followed by this um, master deck classic. So I did not change anything in the plugin. I'm just running the mix through this plugin. Uh, up next, we have this Pultec EQ from Universal Audio. So I am boosting um, the low end and attenuating it at the same time so this is a pretty common technique to get the low end a little bit more punchy so it just creates a curve in the low end uh, which gives you know a little bit boost and at the cut at the same time so it just gives like a more punchy feel to the base base uh, and then i am boosting around 12k just one decibel and then finally we have the limiter. I'm just cranking it up to 12 de decibels just to get the volume. So that's pretty much it for the for my mastering chain. But once again, I'm just using it temporarily. Uh, we will mix it down, like we will bounce the individual stems and then put it in a different session and then we will mix it. But uh, for now, I just wanted to get an idea how the song will um, sound when it's like, you know, close to master. So I'm gonna play you the track for the one last time. And if you made till the end, thank you so much for watching this video. I will be making the rest of the track in the future videos. So stay tuned for that. And that being said, I'm just gonna play with the final version.
once again thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video Pew!